3,000 miles from Cameroon, locked in a museum in Berlin, a centuries-old deity named Ngonzo. The first time that I learned that Ngonzo was in the museum, I was angry. I was totally angry. I was mad. For the two million and so people in Cameroon's English-speaking region, the Ngonzo deity was pillaged by German colonizers. Sylvie and Jobatu is asking Germany to release her. It's a question of justice. We have the right to our heritage. The return of this object means that it's the reawakening of for the common sort person to think about identity beyond colonial boundaries. From 1884 to 1916, Cameroon was a colony of the German Empire, a time of bloody conquest and frequent rebellion. This neighborhood in downtown Yaoundé is called Etwa Meki. In the local language, it means a pond of blood. Cameroonians believe that this was a site of a massacre committed in 1907 by the German colonial army. Hundreds of people were killed and the local chief was beheaded. His head was then taken away to Germany as a battle trophy. To this day, Germany has not publicly acknowledged the killings. Germany has agreed to return some of the looted colonial artifacts to Africa in an effort to confront some of the brutalities of its colonial history. The German colonial army identified the sacred objects and would steal them intentionally to subdue the population. Rebels felt like they had failed their duty. German authorities have not returned in Goso yet, but the statue has been taken down from the exhibit in Berlin's Humboldt Forum Museum. And Jobatu says this is the first step in setting her free and for millions of Enso people to start reinvoking their cultural identity. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Yaoundé, Cameroon.